about 20 years ago. And when I first met Pino, I figured this guy is the ultimate Italian. So I said, hey, Pino, where are you from? And he said, Cosenza. And I said, is that anywhere near Sharpsburg? And he said, yeah, about two blocks from the 62nd Street Bridge. And I says, well, fine. You know, you're Italian on the outside, but on the inside, I'm pure Italian. I says, I don't have one drop of Italian blood, but uh, in my heart and certainly in my stomach, I'm 100% pure Italian. And unlike regular Italians, uh, we pure Italians don't speak Italian. We speak Latin. Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificator, no mentor. I said, I'm evangelical Protestant, but I'll sing the whole mass for you. But anyhow, Pino and I became good friends over the years, great friends. And that friendship was especially meaningful to me um, about nine years ago, um, around the time of the 911 attacks on New York. Uh, I came down with a serious brain infection, and Pino and Eleanor were so good to me with phone calls and cards. Uh, care packages, um, clothes, uh, those little candies that you send me, Eleanor, and shoes and uh, shirts, and good shirts, not the crummy shirts you see in the stores around here, but good Italian shirts. And, and the shoes, uh, well, Pino takes a size 10, uh, right, to 10? I take a 12. And uh, But those of you that remember Pete the Shoemaker and Etna, he could have stretched them for me. But they were so good to me back then, and um, uh, we became even more close uh, during that time. But uh, over the years, Pino would share Italian music with me. He'd bring me little cassette tapes of Italian music, and I always appreciated them. And actually, I've, I've had a lifelong admiration for Italian uh, composers. And some of you might know this, some of you might not know this, but uh, uh, many of our uh, greatest uh, American pop songs uh, were borrowed from Italian composers. Elvis Presley, It's Now or Never, borrowed from an Italian composer. Uh, Andy Williams, um, uh, more than the greatest love the world has known, borrowed from an Italian composer. Uh, Dusty Springfield, you don't have to say you love me, just stay close at hand, borrowed from an Italian composer. And um, in the last couple years, I've had an explosion of interest in uh, Italian music. And uh, from time to time, I would ask Pino and Eleanor, um, you know, to help me with the, the, the pronunciation uh, and the translation of uh, some of the songs. And the last song that uh, Pino and I worked on is a song by uh, Gino Paoli uh, called uh, Ti Lascia Una Canzone, I Leave You a Song. I don't know the whole song. I only know the first verse. I'll have to get uh, Uncle Vince and Uncle Frank to help me out with the rest of it because I didn't learn the whole thing. But at the bottom of your sheets, you have uh, the English translation for the song. And I'll read that for you now. Uh, uh, I, I leave you a song. The time for singing together is now over. Our shared page closes. The world has stopped. I get off here. As you depart from me, I do not leave you alone. I leave you a song to cover you when you're cold. I leave you a song to eat when you're hungry. I leave you a song to drink when you're thirsty. I leave you a song, a song that you can sing to whom you will love after me. And I'll now attempt to uh, sing the first verse in Italian. Secure qui la pagina in comune finito il tempo di cantare insieme il mondo si è fermato io ora scendo qui Prosegui tu, ma non ti mando sola. Ti lascio una canzone per coprirti se avrà freddo. Ti lascio una canzone da mangiare se avrà fame. Ti lascio una canzone da bere se avrà sete. Ti lascio una canzone da cantare. Una canzone che tu potrà cantare a chi, a chi tu amerai dopo di me, a chi tu amerai dopo di me. Grazie mille, Pino. Ciao. God bless you all. Thank you.